Okay, I want to talk about uh, my favorite ball head. Um, is it the most expensive or uh, best ball head made? No, it's not. Is it 95% of uh, another ball head that uh, costs four times as much, such as an Arca Swiss or any one of a number of other ones that I've tried, like the Enduro, the BHD1, or the three legged thing Airhead, or you know the Vanguard GH, or the Manfrotto? Uh, the Manfrotto, uh, what is it, the Manfrotto 498? Uh, yeah, it is. Um, how much is this ball head? It's 75 bucks. It's my best, most favorite ball head. I've tried a lot of them. As you can see here, the ball head itself is 13.2 ounces. And you're thinking, well, that's rather heavy comparatively, but not really. Let's take a look at it. Um, this is the Oban BE117. Here you have an adjustment knob. For axis, and most importantly, you have a friction knob for the ball head. Now, um, if you have like the Siri uh, monopod, the uh, the one I recommended recently for you to purchase the P three two P three twenty six. Why it's so important to have a friction knob head, as I'll show you in a future video. I've also showed that in a few months ago on uh, on uh, monopod techniques. Is that I'm able to adjust uh, the adjust the friction head to where I get the right amount of friction, make it a little looser little tighter right there. So I'm actually able to hold my camera and without adjusting anything down here, hold on to my monopod, just holding my camera, I'm actually able to pan, tilt, zoom, whatever I want and stop and then I've got a perfectly still shot. So I don't have to loosen anything, I don't have to loosen a tightening knob. All I have to do is this number, take the shot, move, take the shot. And I've got a moving animal, I can move, let loose, take the shot, take the shot, Wherever I stop, I've got a perfect steady platform. I love it. Like I said, it's only $75, and it's an Arca Swiss type of a connector here. You see you have a useless bubble level here, another useless bubble level over here. Don't need that for a... Uh, don't need that for monopod use, obviously. And then they've changed uh, from an Allen, Allen screw head uh, adjustment for the base of your, uh, of your uh, camera tripod socket to one with, thank god they did that, I hated carrying around an Allen wrench, they switched to this on standard on the Open BE-117 that it ships with so you can actually do this by finger instead of having to carry around an Allen wrench but you have two lock stops right here pops in the top plate and try and do it here, now if you just let a little friction off you're able to move it here and here, but you have a stop on either end of the plate lock it in right there but I love friction heads this unquestionably is, unless you want to spend a fortune. I've uh, compared this to the Benro BH2, uh, the Gatos uh, MH1311, uh, the Enduro BHD1, what else compared to the three legged thing, Airhead, uh, the Vanguard GH300. Um, what else did I try? Uh, was it the Photo Clam or the Novo Flex? Um, oh, definitely the Arca Swiss Z1. Um, yeah, for $400, you're not getting anything more durable or better than this. Um, now, the load capacity on this is more than you'll ever need. The load capacity is 18 pounds. I think it's technically rated at 17.6. I'm sure it'll actually take a load of 20 pounds. I mean, you're not going to need anything close to that, so who cares? So, this is it. Top recommendation, best bang for the buck, unquestionably. Um, I got three of these. One of these I've used the dog piss out of and beat it to hell and dropped it a few times. And it is just extremely well made. And for seventy-five dollars, nothing else approaches it unless you want to spend four times as much. Just like I made in a prior video talking about uh, the Gitzo uh, monopods that cost four times as much as this. People say, well, you know, the Gitzo is more sturdy. I know it's four hundred dollars, and this one's only a hundred dollars. Like, well, the only reason it's more sturdy is that the wall thickness on the legs. Or is it a lot thicker? I mean, I don't need 54 pounds of support on a monopod, for crying out loud. The same is true of the ball head here. Um, I just don't know what else to say about it other than that I have tried an enormous amount of them. Um, now, in the case of a tripod, if you like a ball head, having a locking lever is nice versus a friction knob. If you forgot to tighten the friction knob properly, and you have your hands on the monopod, I use this for monopod use, but I also use it for tripod. I can see where you would want a locking knob instead of a friction knob. However, there is no question that you would not want a locking knob ball head for your monopod. Just as I showed you now, and as I showed you a few months ago in a monopod shooting technique, I want to have adjustable friction so I can actually sit there and pan my camera and stop and still have 
a steady lock so far as not having any a blur due to a low shutter speed. So having a friction adjustment knob on a ball head, especially for monopod use, should be considered an absolute necessity. There's just, there's just no way you would use a locking knob on a monopod and then try out a friction knob like this and say to yourself, oh, I want to go back to the locking knob. You just wouldn't. It's just, there's just no way. Um, so that's it. I hope I showed it to you enough. I know I flapped my lips too much, but I had to point this out. I think that's the current price on it. I just checked. Yeah, it's uh, $75. Uh, got a couple of them new. This is the newest one, so I had to get a third one. I didn't have to, but I got a third one. So thankfully now they come with a, uh, a finger adjustment for the bottom of your camera for the tripod uh, socket. So that's great. They should have done that to begin with, but whatever. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.